Realism, the philosophical view that reality exists independently of our perception. Whatever we believe now is only an approximation of reality, but that the accuracy and fullness of understanding can be improved. If you are walking through a forest and suddenly close your eyes, one could create all sorts of philosophical arguments about why the forest was never there in the first place. Combine those with some mental gymnastics and DMT, and you have the perfect recipe for spiraling down a rabbit hole. But realism says the forest does not vanish. Reality persists, regardless of whether you are aware of it or not. In Western philosophy, Aristotle is credited with popularizing realism by opposing Plato's idealism. He argued that reality exists in the tangible world, knowable through experience. His philosophy laid the groundwork for realism's influence in various fields, such as in arts and politics. Realism in philosophy asserts that both universals and particulars exist independently of each other. Particulars are concrete, spatio-temporal entities or objects that occupy a specific place and time. For example, a specific horse named Thunder, or the plate currently sitting on your dining table. These particulars cannot be in more than one place at the same time. On the other hand, universals are abstract properties or qualities that can be shared by multiple particulars. Horseness is a universal that all horses share, or roundness is a universal that many plates possess. Realism comes in many flavors like a multivitamin, and became unpopular because some claim that quantum mechanics proves realism is wrong, or that instrumentalism is the correct metaphysics. Many claim that we cannot step outside our own minds to verify this mind-independent reality. We're stuck with our imperfect senses and flawed reasoning, so realism becomes a leap of faith, an axiom we choose to believe because it's useful. It allowed us build bridges that don't collapse and send rockets to space. It might not be just a philosophical stance, but a cognitive strategy for navigating an ambiguous universe, a way to maintain sanity in the face of cosmic uncertainty. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.